Hey everybody, I'm Rob Raybon, and you might recognize me from such hit and run videos like my 620 was hit and somebody didn't stop. I wasn't in the vehicle for that one, but this time I was. So we went to Club Loose with the BMW, and Amanda learned a lot of stuff. We trailered the car up with a U-Haul trailer, and the band did pretty awesome. And then we took the trailer back to U-Haul, and on the way back with no trailer and no car, and literally the last minute of probably six hours of driving, in that last minute we got rear-ended pretty bad, and we kind of got the pit maneuver, and then the side of the van got hit. And when I was getting out of the van to see if the driver was okay and to see how bad the damage was on the van, they took off. They hauled ass and peeled out, and they left. It was a Sunday night, so I'm guessing that they were drunk. They probably went out and watched a football game or something and got drunk, and that's probably why they didn't stop. So don't drink and drive because you're an asshole if you drink and drive, and you're also an asshole if you drive away from the scene of an accident. I did call the cops, an officer stopped by, he was really nice, but I, uh, I don't think that anybody's ever gonna catch the guy, so maybe we'll go and see if we can find him. None of the cameras caught a tag number or anything. It was either a silver or white uh, late model F-Series, Amanda thought maybe it was a Silverado. I'm pretty sure it's a white F-Series though, like a really newish one. I'm pretty sure the damage on their truck is more than what my van's worth. So that's kind of a nice silver lining. But let's start by looking at the damage and see if it's even worth it to fix this thing. Which I feel it is. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is if the rear axle and rear wheel were bent. I haven't even looked at that yet. When I went down the street to try to follow the guy, it did feel like the rear was slipping a little bit somehow. It, this van never does burnouts and it was definitely spinning out. So I don't know if the axle got bent or if the frame's twisted or what. So we're going to find out. This is actually the first time looking at it. I didn't go to work today because I was tired. It happened pretty late at night. I couldn't sleep because I was so pissed off. After driving this thing for so long yesterday, I've, I've really grown attached to it. It's been doing pretty good. Anyway, let's do a tour of the damages. So this all happened at around 7.15 yesterday. It was pretty late. It was dark. It was rainy. Didn't get any kind of tag number, but I do have somebody's headlight, so this is the only evidence I really have. There's a couple other pieces of a headlight. I'm sure they messed up their truck pretty bad. The hubcap got pretty scratched up. But you can see that they hit the wheel, and there's a couple scuffs on the tire. Looks like there's some cracking on this tire anyway. But yeah, one of my minty hubcaps is messed up. I'm surprised it didn't crack. Just all those rub marks. Then on the bumper, I'm pretty sure that this was new. I don't know. I, I, this has rust, so I'm pretty sure that this was messed up. That might have been rust underneath of the paint. You might have to check back on some older videos and pictures to see what actually got messed up. Our towing hitch probably went through his bumper. I feel like he hit us while we were turning, and then the van kind of spun, almost like he did a pit maneuver. And then that's when this got damaged. It was like he hit us twice. So you can see that from here to here is all damaged. Like all of this. This door seems fine. You can see this gap's a little bit wider. But then you got all of these, these bad marks right here. I don't know if this hinge is even gonna open anymore. And then you can see all the Bondo. I knew there was gonna be a pretty good bit of Bondo on this truck. But man, that's, that's pretty bad. That rocker is like all Bondo. And the rocker got messed up. So I'm not sure if the frame's gonna be slightly twisted now. I really don't know. Man, look how thick that Bondo is. It's, it's pretty terrible. Like I said, more of the wheel well. And the paint got chipped up, but I mean, this isn't gonna be a death sentence, I don't think, for the, for the van. As hard as we got hit, I'm really surprised it isn't worse. I thought it was going to get back home and the taillights were going to be gone, but the taillights are fine. Look like they were still working last night. I'm guessing that the bumper took a pretty good bit of the load. Once we got spun around and he hit us, you can see that that, all, uh, that whole side took the rest of it. So let's see if we can even open this door now. This one opens fine. Uh, you can see all the drift spares. They got tossed around a little bit. The jack's down here. It's the loudest noise on earth. Uh, actually, that door opens. Sticks a little bit, but it opens. The rocker's pretty messed up, but I feel like that's not enough to twist the frame up or anything, or else the roof would be buckled somehow. It just sucks. It makes it look uglier than what it was. I'm not saying that this was a show piece or anything, but I try to keep it like semi nice, you know? So yeah, that opens and closes. 
hinge is a little wobbly, but I guess it's not too, too bad. The gap here is extra bad now. Um, I guess it popped it out. Didn't really buckle in the inside. Doesn't look like, I guess all the diamond plate protected it a bit. So let's make sure the wheel's not wobbling. I haven't looked at that yet. When I was driving around last night, the wheel felt kind of loose. Like the wheels were spinning. This thing doesn't really do burnouts at all, even in the rain. So I'm thinking something might have broke, I don't know. So let's just back it up real quick, drive forward so I can get it on video and see if it's actually bent. The way I know if I gotta replace the axle or not. If the hitch got hit, it's a pretty strong hitch. So there's definitely gonna be a lot of damage on that guy's truck. So it did bust out his headlights and that's probably expensive. Suspension looks fine. Um, yeah, let's just back it up real quick. Just to see if it's wiggling. the tape and see how that looked. I mean it's ugly but at least it wasn't one of the cool cars. At least it wasn't a Skyline or one of the Mustangs or even a BMW. I feel like every time I go to turn onto my street somebody's tailgating the shit out of me so I knew this was gonna happen eventually. As much as I love this fan I'm kind of glad it was this fan because me and Amanda were both safe. She got a little scratch. I felt a little sore this morning but overall it's not a it's no big deal. It just sucks. People suck sometimes, just please be a good person. If you have an accident and make a mistake in life, just own up to it. If you don't own up to your mistakes and your accidents, then that makes you a total bitch. So, don't be a bitch. I guess it doesn't look all that bad. It looks pretty good from 50 feet away. I mean, if you're in the vans or something. I don't know if anybody's in the vans. I am, I really like this thing. I'm really sad that this happened. Poor Greta. Poor, poor Greta. I guess I'll keep this for a souvenir. It's actually been the worst wreck that I've been in yet, so far. The only real evidence we have is this piece of a headlight. We're gonna use this, and then we're gonna use my secret weapon, which is a dog. I mean, dogs can smell cancer and all kinds of other stuff. Maybe Butters will be able to find this bastard. Come on, Butters. Sniff it, smell it, smell it. All right, you got the scent? All right, let's go, let's go find him. Let's go find him. Go find him, boy. Go find him. Okay, so you want to get in the car? Alright, so we're going to get in the car then. Alright, jump jump in there. Alright, butters. Now that we're mobile, we're going to find him, okay? We're going to take this for evidence. And we're going to find him. Let's get this bastard, buddy. Come on. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. You can tell he's picking up the scent. It's hot on the trail of this son of a bitch. Alright, Butters, which way? Right? You wanna go to the right? Okay. Go to the right, buddy. Still hot on the trail. Down this way, buddy? Or now which way, buddy? Butters, which way? This way? We need to go left? Okay, we'll go left. There's a the Corvette. That's cool. All right, is it gonna be down this block, buddy? Is it? Is it gonna be down here? Is it gonna be here? Is it that truck, Pig? No, I don't think it was a dolly, buddy. Butters, don't cry. We'll find him. We'll find him, buddy. Get on 95, just like you pointed to. I don't think that he would live on 95, but if you say so, just let me know what exit to take. Right, he's crying a little bit extra at this exit, so we're gonna take this exit. He's getting a little more excited. I think we're hot on the trail. We gotta be getting close. Now he's pointing to the right. Are they in here, buddy? Are they in here? Buddy, this is a Chick-fil-A. This was a failure. Well, we didn't find him, buddy. So you took me to Chick-fil-A? That's, that's good. Since we're here, do you want something? Hey, Butters. Do you want chicken nuggets? It's okay, buddy. You tried your best. You're a good boy. I'll get you some chicken nuggets. You're a good boy.
There's your payment, buddy. Good job. We didn't find the culprit, but you're still a good boy. You're a good boy. Come here. Stay. 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 This accident sucked, but I'm just grateful that Amanda was okay, and I'm okay. Amanda was a little sore this morning. I'm, I feel a little sore. My stomach hurts really bad. I think that's more from just being pissed off and stressed out. Uh, usually it gives me an upset stomach. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Every view from YouTube gives me a little bit of money, so maybe that'll help with repairs. I'll have to buy a lot of Bondo to fix this thing. So that would be pretty awesome. The more people that watch, the, uh, the more Bondo money I have. And uh, maybe parts. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't drink and drive. Don't be an asshole and leave the scene of an accident. And just do good shit. Just be a good person. I'm a firm believer in karma, and I really hope karma just f that dude up. I'm not giving up hope. I put out a couple little things on Instagram and Facebook, so hopefully somebody sees somebody with a messed up front end on their late model F-Series. If you do, please let me know, and I'll give you a six pack of pumpkin harvest shandy. Don't drink it and drive. Even though it'll be hard to prove that that was the exact vehicle, at least I can kick the person in their balls and or vagina, depending on if they were male or female. I'm an equal opportunity genital kicker. I don't discriminate. It's bad to discriminate against sexes. So, uh, yeah, equality. Anyway, that's it. Um, have a great day, and uh, stay tuned for maybe fixing this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>